Good after morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Today, I want to talk a little serious. But not directly serious. I want to talk to you guys about something that is going on right now. And that is the way how the economy is working. Kind of, kind of, kind of. I'm no economics expert. I am no economics expert, but to put it simply, in my personal point of view, the economy is doing good, and there's a reason for that. So basically, <clears throat> what's happening is that people are losing a lot of money, while others are gaining a lot of money, and with that said, you know, it's basically how the way how capitalism works. You know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Sometimes you're you're the creeper. You are that thing that is on the verge between doing really not that good to and meh. I'll just stick here here, you know. I'll just chill here, see how it goes. You know, and a lot of people tend to be on that you know, on that fence line in between the overworld and the nether. So with that said, um, you know, just for now, I uh, want to see what happens. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, sorry, Creeper. Uh, you saw the risk, a.k.a. me, and you freaked out. And you pulled out. That's okay. And that's okay. Because, like the stock market, the stock market is basically something that is, you know, it's a management system. It is the obsidian nether portal. Sometimes the market will go either way, you know, sometimes <clears throat> the stock market will go in, you know, one of two directions. And oh my goodness, that just dodged a huge bullet. <laughs> uh, you know. Sometimes the market is doing great. It's in the overworld. Everything's awesome, you know. But other times, the market just decides, eh, I'm not doing so well. I I need I need some help, and that's where people like investors, like the creeper over here, come in. You know, the creeper, or um, he's not sure on what to do, but he was kind of on the verge of you know coming over to the dark side. Coming to the nether. Because what he picked wasn't really the best options. And you know what? Sometimes that literally happens. You know? Sometimes that happens to good people. You know? The skeleton over here, he's pissed. He's angry. Or he was angry before I killed him. You know? That skeleton, he was in so much debt. He was not a happy camper. Or... He's like me. I'm the risk. You know, I represent not the graphs in the situation, you know. Now things are going up and up and up. You know, the farther I get away from that portal, the better it gets. You know, even if I'm being attacked and pushed back. Sometimes, sometimes, things just happen. You know, the zombies, they're on fire. These guys, they took a huge risk and now they're gone. You know, their stocks, the companies that they represent, they're gone. They're all gone. You know, sometimes people would just, you know, do all kinds of weird things with the stock market. And what's happened recently with the stock market is that, you know, people, they were on the fence. They were the creepers in this weird analogy. And, you know, the guys who were the creepers. They said, you know what? There's a there's a soul torch here. This one looks like it could be going in the right direction. And it turns out that it was. It was the torch. That led a lot of people to the what's it called? Oh, a wind generator. <laughs> they it led to a lot of people heading over to the wind generator, causing more power to go into 
to the energy that supplies the storage, a.k.a. the banks, a.k.a. the people, into a good time. The Creeper saw me, and again, I'm the risk. He does not like risk. He wants safety. But here's the thing about the stock market. There is no safety. You know, the stock market is basically a legal way to gamble away, you know, what funds you got. But like with anything, with risk, there's also a way to grow. Like sometimes, you know, you have a skeleton that is like, I'm past the solar generator. You know, that guy, that skeleton wanted to defend his assets. He wanted to defend whatever cash he had in his pocket. But I came in, the risk, and I just, well, I got rid of him. Sometimes the risk catches up to you. And you know what? Sometimes you're the spider over there. You're just chilling. You don't care what's going on. You see yourself as the one that's away from the, from the generator over there. And you're just like chilling. You know, you don't really care that much about stocks or getting back to the analogy. You don't really care if you're, uh, if you're going like up, down, left, or right. As long as you see yourself as growing in some shape or form, you're like, yeah, let's stick with it. But sometimes, again, you just take the risk. I'm the risk. And that risk catches up to you. And the risk is always going to have some form of consequence. Albeit good or bad. I know consequences have like a negative connotation to them. But, you know, sometimes that risk is a good risk. You know, sometimes you gotta place your, you know, capabilities into what is going to happen. And for some people, they saw the soul torch and the soul torch was pointing in that direction. And they were like, you know what? This stock, this stock right here looks good. Looks good. And they saw more of it. You know, they saw more and more and more. And they kept buying into the stocks. That is the stuffed cucumbers. If this is making any sense, let me know. Or that is like the most basic of basic explanations that I can give about stock markets. Because once you're in here, sometimes you just have to cut your losses and say, okay, this is not working out for me. I've lost like a grand here or 10 grand there or, oh, goodness forbid, you know, I lost like a billion dollars in one day. Yeah, that's what happened recently with a lot of people who... Basically, you know, whenever you buy stocks, there's always some form of risk. Be it my player character, or you just so happen to put your money into a bad stock. Normally, this would void the items, but for some reason, this isn't working. I don't know why. Anywho, <laughs> I'll just let that despawn. This is like part of the analogy. Uh, but yeah. Huh, I'm just trying to just trying to lighten your day and hopefully get people like in that mindset of understanding. Because honestly, the worst thing you can do in any any situation that you have is to freak out over what you don't understand. I'm ending it. I'll see you later. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.